Alright everybody, today I've got a real juicy, juicy, juicy deck for you. This is a Permastall Kahiri deck. You're thinking, Kahiri's dog shit, this will never work in any type of meta. You can't use this in standard, you can't use this in uh, internal. This is a horrible deck and it'll never work. Well guys, it has always been a horrible deck. This has always been a shit deck and it's never worked until now. I found the secret sauce and it is Sump Monument. It gives you a ton of extra turns and with the predict synergy. So this is how the deck works. I'll go over the whole deck in uh, review and explain how it works, how you could mulligan um, and how you could actually win against Karma players. You could win against aggro. You could win against pretty much anything, unless it's like a Teemo deck, where they're already putting shrooms in your deck before you want them to have shrooms in your deck. And the only thing this deck really loses against is Bricking and Teemo. That's it. You could technically win against every other deck on the face of the planet that's ever been constructed. That's how good this deck is. So let me go through the, the deck list so you could see. Uh, this is the standard version of the deck, by the way. Uh, I played this a lot in Eternal, and I'll be honest, it's just better in Eternal because you have access to um, the two mana card that puts back the uh, the thing. Uh, I passed it. Oh, it's not Eternal. Whatever, I forget what it's called. But there's a there's a two mana card that allows you if you brick and you accidentally draw a Kahiri, it lets you put them back in your deck and then predict. Uh, I forget what the card is called, but that's only for Eternal. That makes the deck a lot more consistent, but this is my standard version, so you can take it to the ladder and win against everybody on the face of the planet, and I'll explain how it works, okay? So you want to mulligan for all your predicts as early as possible. You're going to go for the Forsaken Bakais, the uh, Chronomancers, uh, Careful Prep, and uh time trick all that stuff is really good and then after you predicted your kahiri like once or even twice twice you're like popping off hella hard but if you get two predicts off then you're pretty much going to want to click kahiri and get him into your hand and at that point you could uh clone him with evil and perfectionist or you can get really lucky and predict and then make copies of them right off the bat with practical perfectionist uh that's like super high roll but at that point i mean holy shit i mean you have an infinite like 12 12 13 13s spawning for five mana or four mana so you're dropping them two at a time from turn eight like onwards and uh also echo he's kind of like an alt win condition honestly echo is just here for an extra predict but if you do get lucky and you just top deck like a god and you predict like a god then your echo can give you the you know time tricks obviously and allows you to rally uh, best case scenario you have like two or three kahiris on your board that are like nine nine ten ten or something and then you attack kill half their board and then you time trick and then attack again with a bunch of a bunch more kahiris and you're thinking okay well where does sump monument come into play guys this card basically doubles or triples or potentially makes you invulnerable this lets you play the game forever especially with kahiri especially with predicts let me explain how this works right you're on turn seven you're on turn eight you're playing against an aggro deck you've got four health left right you've already got like a shit ton of kahiris in your deck you got two kahiris in your hand you're feeling like shit and then all of a sudden you dump the sump monument and they have to try to win with with putting uh, puff caps in your deck and not doing direct damage, right? All of a sudden, all their aggro doesn't mean shit. You're at turn seven, you got four health, you drop this, then you play Kahiri, right? And then Kahiri copies himself, and guess what, guys? The new copies of Kahiri have zero puff caps. Hopefully, you have a couple... Um, predicts i mean the majority of the deck is predicts uh i can count it out for you so i'm gonna say echo is one uh this thing is one 
to what is it? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times three. Okay. So literally half your deck. Literally more than half your deck. Literally more than half your deck is predicts, so you're never really gonna run out of predicts. Also, uh devouted council is here just in case. Uh after you get everything set up, right? And you've got a bunch of puff caps in your deck and you've got a bunch of kahiris uh this guy lets you just heal a tiny bit i mean i only added this because there's nothing better to add in the deck um you don't really want draw believe it or not uh i have a couple rummages just because worst case scenario you draw like three of these right you only need one usually uh Sometimes you're facing like a Seraphine deck and they use uh, landmark removal, but besides that, you really don't want three of these. Um, so that's why Rummage is in the deck. And then also sometimes like you already have your combo going and you're like, ah shit, I don't need any more predicts. I don't need any more like quicksands. I don't need any more like shit units that don't let me win the game right now. Uh, at that point, you can Rummage and then get two more Kahiris and then win the game, right? So that's pretty much the deck breakdown it's a really 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 difficult deck to to pilot you got to plan ahead a lot and you got to just be kind of lucky and know what you're predicting for and why you're predicting for what you want to predict for instance in the early game you never really want to i mean I, if you get lucky and you predict kahiri then cool but usually in the early game when you're predicting you're literally looking for other predict cards you're gonna find ancient prep you're gonna predict that you're gonna slap that down round one and what are you gonna look for you're gonna look for another forsaken bakai another one mana predicts you're gonna look for your chronomancers you're gonna look for your time tricks um you, the unit predicts are like obviously better than the than the time trick because it's like more tempo but that's what you're doing right until you get to turn four turn four you're basically considering hey do i want to drop echo predict for echo and drop echo leveled already and then swing with him or do i want to uh like set up a kahiri and like an evil imperfectionist or something like that right so that's basically like the super like difficult like decision making in this deck is whether you're going for like an echo win con or a kahiri win con uh, it's very obviously like situational and like you got to play the deck a lot to like feel that out and also like you can you really only want to have some monument in your hand when you're just about to die so i would say like if you're around like seven health something like that you want to slap this you want to you really want to start predicting for this and have it in your hand so you could slap it down and like play the game forever but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the deck breakdown. Um, if you guys are interested, you have fun with this deck, just let me know and I will show you the uh, eternal version, which is a lot better and a lot more consistent. All right, that's the deck breakdown. Uh, if you like this deck, if you play it, give me a like, give me a follow. Uh, I don't upload a shit ton of content, but when I do, I do. So like it help uh, encourage me to keep making videos like this video share it do do whatever you do copy my deck let everybody know that you copied it from me the smartest person on the face of the planet all right bye all right we got fizz samiro aggro my favorite uh all right thank god we didn't break no kahiri and the mulligan should be some light work all right well i did not want to see that guy definitely want some more predicts oof all right uh pass i guess surprisingly the aggro player didn't smork me down and i'm surprisingly have 20 health on turn three that's weird uh finally we got a little bit of predict um do you want to go more defensive though just because i'm assuming he's cooking up something i mean he's got a lot of cards in hand there's no way yeah okay so he had the samira the whole time i don't know why he didn't drop it earlier i guess he's worried because i'm uh piltover 
so he thinks I'm probably holding like a bunch of mystics and uh, uh, the other one. Alright, see, he thinks he's doing something, but he's actually doing absolutely nothing. Super, super shit start for the opponent as the aggro player. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna predict though. I'm gonna predict. Yeah. Now we might get risky. We might get frisky. Oh my god. We hit. We hit. Ladies and gentlemen, we hit. I need to hit the fucking blackjack tables after this, holy shit. Alright, I don't care. I mean, he's gonna upgrade his guy today, right? He's gonna do it now? Yeah, okay. So he thinks I'm worried, but I'm actually not worried at all. Shamira. Is Samira Mexican? She looks like a Latina, no? Yeah, he thinks he's doing something. He's doing absolutely nothing. Um, definitely gonna trade. Get this shitter out of here so he doesn't rally. And yeah, we're gonna jam okay. And I don't really care what he does. As long as he doesn't kill me this round, I don't really care. Slap Kahiri, start. Or actually, no. Uh, maybe we start copy. Yeah, we're gonna copy Kahiri actually. We're gonna get extra greedy. Okay, he still loses it. It doesn't have quick attack. He doesn't know how to read. Interesting. I mean, that's the typical aggro player for it does no idea what the English language is. Has absolutely zero, you know, logical and planning skills. Uh, he only knows how to click buttons that glow for him. So luckily, uh, you know, luckily I'm fi I'm fight you know fighting lots of aggro players, and you know, luckily the game is you know completely. Uh, yeah, we can save that for later. Um, luckily, the game has totally punished all the control players and all the smart players in the game, and for some reason shifted the game into only having aggro players and combo players. Oof, let's just, let's see how greedy we can get right here. Let's dump everything. You see, I'm at 9 health or 8 of health. <laughs> 8 health. But really, I'm at infinite health, guys. I know it says 8. Actually, the 8 is actually a uh, sideways 8 and it's an infinite symbol cuz I cannot die. Okay, I don't know why you stunned on my turn. Weird play. I think that's just the aggro brain set, right? He has the ability to click a button, so he clicks it. Absolutely no forethought or logic or thinking involved with this player. Which is good for me, obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm looking pretty healthy, guys. I'm looking pretty healthy. Uh, luckily he threw away his, uh, elusive unit. I could have been more annoying. Uh, I guess we trade this guy, because we don't have a champion anyways. We have something better than a champion. Infinite Kahiri. Uh, I mean, even if he has, um, Decimate, we... We're still good here, right? If anything, we want him to play Decimate right now, right? Because we're down to one if he plays Decimate. I mean, five health. I mean, shit. It's like, <laughs> it's like we never took any damage. <laughs> Slap down my 9-9. Nine -nine. Slap down my sump works. My sump monument. Alright, luckily he just has shit units. Cool. 
and we got the sandstorm or what is it called quicksand so we could potentially swing oh my god we hit again holy shit 13 13 um i think we just win right now right ah fuck we don't have enough for quicksand next turn we win that's fine it's fine I mean, at this point, we don't care how much he draws, how much face damage he does. I mean, we're gonna... Hopefully, he... Alright, well, I was hoping he didn't do that, but okay. Next turn. Next next turn, we win. Easy. GG's. Am I gonna, like, DM him and let him hit me face? Oh, no. Four mushrooms. I mean, if it, even if he drops Rex, I don't care, right? I don't give a shit. Fake sweat. Okay. One more damage. Cool. Drop another Kiri. Laugh. I mean, this is what this deck does, guys. Like I was saying. I mean, we kind of high rolled a little tiny bit off of the... Um, uh, what's it called? Yeah, the practical perfectionist like that high roll us pretty hard like that hardly ever happens but when it does happen i mean look at our board look at our board guys we got five mana 13 13 fearsomes like i mean what do you do right like we, we can't lose right and we're drawing new ones every turn hopefully we hit i mean yeah i mean we win easy ggs we're gonna quicksand the little shitter and i mean there's no way he can win against i mean unless he has uh the yellow card the burn card or whatever that kills the injured unit but he's an aggro deck he's not gonna think about <laughs> he's not gonna think about what the opponent's doing he, he's got an aggro brain he's he doesn't tech in cards that potentially needs brain power to use and set up no way kahiri look at five mana 13 13 i mean even him, the opponents like whoa wow that's a cool deck man bye bye dude click next man come on the aggro player got so mad he's uh stalling imagine that guys you could piss off aggro players so much that they try to waste your time the whole the only reason that they're, they're playing aggro is to play as efficiently and as time time efficient as possible and play quick games right you're gonna piss off aggro players so much that they insta quit the game and stall you out that's how good this deck is ggs dipshit Okay, let's go to my next victim. Hopefully we get another aggro player. Uh, Teemo. Ah, shit. The bane of my existence. Hopefully he's not like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? Get the fuck out of my hand, Gary, you piece of shit, you dumbass. Play the game correctly, Gary. Perfect. We're high rolling. Went from... Brick insta lose insta surrender to high roll. Okay, cool. Um, let's. I mean, predict, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, more predict, I guess. Yeah. Alright, we don't care about the little shitters. We don't care about the little face damage. Uh, like I said, Sump Monument will let us play the game forever. Cheaper predict is always better. Again, with the unit, I think I said this in the deck review. Uh, you want to have the predict units to just have, just be chump blockers, just be little shitters to do a little face damage. Ooh, we hit early. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. 
Give me that. Um, uh, oh man, I was looking for the the copy girl, but it's okay. See, this is the decision making where you want to either go for the Sump Works and then the Kahiri, or like the Echo Go Wide and then Rallies play, right? I'm going for the Kahiri play because we already have a Kahiri already buffed. Um, but both options were viable there, right? Because we already have an Echo. We could have got another Echo and like, you know, swung with our Echo and killed him. Because uh, they definitely have removal, but we're going to go down the Kahiri path this game. Um, alright, so our opponent's just playing, like, kind of useless shitters, right? Because we don't really care about our board at this point. We're just gonna try to predict for Kahiri again and again. And as soon as we start getting him down and start copying him, we Gucci. Uh, hopefully they kill the Echo. We don't really care about the Echo at this point. I mean, the, the thing, the extra... Predict is nice, but it's not necessary at this point. I mean, they have four mana. Alright, um, I don't know. I was expecting the Telstones into, uh, three damage, but I guess not. Okay, they're trying to remove my units with Flash Bombs. It's not gonna be very effective. I'm playing a rock deck, and they're playing, uh, they're playing Pikachu. It's not working out for them. Uh, you just dump them. I mean, if they trade the Puffcat Peddler, I mean, we're happy, right? We don't, get, we don't care. I mean, maybe we just cut the, the draw. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we're gonna. We're, like I said earlier, right? There's two win conditions here. We could save our units and try to go for the uh, the rally. Or we could just swing, not give a shit, and then refill our board later with Kahiris. Uh, I'm feeling the fill the board with Kahiris, honestly. Alright, cool. Wait, did that do 3 damage or 2? Only 2, right? Right. Luckily, he did not hit the zero cost card, which is the only one that we could play. Ah, now we get the Chrono Break. Okay. Um. I mean, we already like mentally checked out of this win con, but we're gonna hold it for later. Maybe we have like five Kikiris later, and then we then we rally like randomly. Maybe. Uh, I mean, we, we kind of need this this girl to hit the Kahiri at this point, right? We kind of need this to hit. We need... Oh my god, we actually hit? Holy shit. I mean, we... Well, I mean, it's a win. It's a GG's already. I mean, we can't lose at this point. Holy shit. Five mana, seven, seven. Every turn. Oh. My. God. That's what he's committing to? He's committing to one damage? Are you okay, sir? That's all he's doing? Oh no, my alternate win condition. I mean, I honestly, I really don't mind having that 3-3. I don't really care. What, what can he do? What can he possibly do? Uh, I mean, he has to block with both, I think, right? With both of his fearsome blockers? Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Actually, he does, because we're going to rally. And then that, I mean, we're going to BM, right? I want to get one more Kiri. I think 
logically speaking, the best way to play this deck is a BM constantly. Even if you lose the game because of a BM, just BM anyways. Sure. I mean, luckily he traded both, so we just really want to, really want to, you know, powder this, powder him out. Just grind him into dust. One more Kahiri, please. Oh my god, again. Oh, oh my god. Obviously a good one right now, but we're not going to. We're going to be him. Thank God you got rid of my shitter. Who's texting me? Shut up. What? Truth about what? What the fuck are you talking about? Um... All right, we don't care. We already won. GG's. Yeah, let's just win now. It's whatever. Triple Kahiri, triple nine nine. Get shitted on. Get wrecked. Get pooped on. Get one tapped. Get headshotted. I was so worried about this team I'll build too. Uh, did he ever draw Teemo? I don't even remember. I don't think he ever draw two in Teemo. GG's. Okay, Karma set. Uh, I mean... He could stun me forever, and I could play infinite Kahiris forever. I guess it's, a. Uh, I guess it's the old saying, right? What happens when an impenetrable defense meets a uh, all-powerful entity or something? I don't know. What is the saying? Immovable object and a uh, unstoppable force. Yeah. Well, let's see who wins: unstoppable force or impenetrable object. I mean, we kind of high rolled with all the one ones, kind of. Oh my god, we high rolled. We actually high rolled hard. Um, uh, let's actually take it. I was thinking like double predict to see if um. Actually, never mind. That was a bad idea. Never double predict there. So, you know, sometimes you just think crazy stuff, you know? With all the paradoxes and all the uh, infinity in this deck, sometimes your mind just gets warped and gets pulled into the into the ether. You start making horrible plays. But not today. Again, we don't really care about these shitters. We're definitely going for the Kahiri win con. We don't really care about the... Echo win con. Damn. Alright. We hit again. This is what I was talking about earlier. If you can get the evil perfectionist, you could get four cop four mana copies of Kikiri, which hit just so hard. And we set it up, right? So that's what I was talking about earlier. Like you have to set it up. You have to know what your win con is, what you're facing. We're obviously facing like a late game deck. So that's why I'm going super hard into the Kahiri win con. So that's why, I, like, it might look, like, super greedy, but actually not, right? Because we're playing, like, a Karma deck, and they're gonna just pop off with infinite mana, infinite, you know, uh, obliterates and shit. So we might as well go infinite, too. And that's exactly what we're doing. Holy shit, right off the bat. Yes, sir. So, like, right off the bat, right, we're going to drop the Kahiri, drop him again, drop him again, drop him again, and eventually, 
the opponent just needs to answer it every single time and we're gonna do it an infinite amount of times right eventually they should run out of answers eventually right eventually right eventually they cannot stop the 100th 99 right they could recall actually if they recall the kahiri that's amazing for me because then we get a free copy into our deck so we actually want the recalls stuns are a little more annoying but it is what it is i mean at this point if we get a um rummage we're literally throwing away the echo whatever i'd rather trade the unit with the, with the kahiri that's gonna go infinite rather than soak up a stun because the stun gives him a body and it stops me from attacking so that's like a lose lose for me this is like a half win getting removal <clears throat> Six damage somehow he's half dead on turn five that's pretty i don't know i think he's just saving cards right i think he just has he definitely has answers for the carry he's just not playing it yet um i mean hopefully that bites him in the ass right hopefully do i want to play the 599 or the 499 or maybe we bait out the echo so he uses a removal for the echo. Or he just put a shit ton more pressure, right? Looking like pressure to me. Looking like pressure to me. Okay, one damage. Great. Amazing turn, opponent. Only do that 18 more times, and you'll win the game. Again, right, he has both the fearsome blockers. Uh, maybe we get lucky and we top deck a sand. Whatever. Sandstorm or whatever. Okay, so he's feeling confident about dropping the karma. He definitely has the two mana recall. Oh my god, we actually drew the. What is it called? Quicksand. Dude, this quicksand is. Holy shit, the quicksand is everything right here. Quicksand. I mean, do we use it now? Uh, force the karma block. Um, I mean, he has recalls. We want him to bait out the recall. We want to bait out the recalls first, right? Ah, right. Okay. Exactly. We're baiting out the stuns and the recalls. Hopefully we get the karma to block. Um... We're not actually pushing a lot of damage here, but I mean, we want him to use something. I mean, if he wants to take nine, I mean, I mean, he definitely has the recall, right? The two mana thing, right? Oof. Okay, I was not expecting that. Um. Okay, so he's, if he's blocking with the karma, he definitely has the the shit recall, right? A two mana recall. All right. Well, I mean, at least he's telling us he has the recall. I mean, we were expecting it yes last turn, but I mean, I don't know. Oh my, Kahiri's looking somewhat healthy. Uh. Again, we want to just bait out removal, bait out the stuns, bait out the recall. Double echo, I mean, that's kind of hardcore bait, right? Like, we got hardcore bait. We got hardcore double bait here. Hopefully, he falls for it. Um, I mean, look at that juicy three health echo. I mean, how could you let him live? He's so dangerous and... 
again. He only does two damage this turn. I mean, our opponent is just just saying, hey, I, I own all the cards on the universe. I have 17 stuns. I have 42 recalls. I mean, that's what he's saying, right? I wish he played something to kill the Echo. Nice. Okay, so he is actually afraid of the Echo, thank God. Let's see if he does it again. Okay, um, actually a little annoying, but that's okay. I didn't want him to use removal, but okay. I, was, I thought he would have, like, I didn't think he ran that main deck. Whatever. <laughs> Give me a Kiri! Let's go. Slap another 11-11 on the board, why not? Four mana 11-11, uh, feels good. He still has stuns and shit like that, obviously. I guess we only we only got we only baited out one uh, concussive palm. Okay, there's the second. So he probably has maybe like two more. So he's got six cards. He's got at least two other stuns. At least. Recalls are good for me, actually. If he recalls, then we get to play another Kahiri and put another one in our deck. So we don't really mind the recall, we just really mind the stuns. Yeah, Concussive is, the, is kind of the hardest counter. But that's just buying him time, right? He just wants to get to turn 10. And start obliterating our shit, right? So we gotta win turn 10, turn 11. Um, trying to think how we could do that. We have zero cards in hand. We basically just got beef. That's all we got. We're gonna win against the Karma deck by just slapping our meat on the table. Yikes. Okay, I was not expecting that. Damn, this deck runs so much more removal. Than, I was, than what I was thinking. I, I would. I really thought he'd just have more stuns and more recalls. But the double, the hex tech shit. Oh my god. Okay, he's burning cards. He has infinite amount of mana. Cool. Oh wow, back up to ten. I mean, I have all the health in the world, so I don't really mind. I'm assuming he doesn't have units that are three attack because if he does, he would just play them instantly, right? Yeah, he's got all the cards. Yikes. Not gonna lie, that hurts. Not gonna lie, that kind of sucks. We might lose. Thank God that's five mana and not four. I'm actually sweating. This is a non-ironic Ezreal sweat. Nani? Why would he run that? Did he generate that? I mean, free karma, I guess. Actually, no, he's got a recall, right? Actually, we win, right? If he plays the recall... Well, I mean, he has to play the recall, right? The two mana... New recall, right? I think we win. Unless, uh... He has, like, ten more stuns. I mean, we open swing and win, or we open swing and lose. That's kind of... That's kind of what we're down to, boys. I'm sweating. I, I, I hope he's sweating. Well, there goes nothing. Playing the second one doesn't help. 
I'm sweating. Here we go. Oh my god, he doesn't have it. How's that even possible? Get shit on. Holy shit. We got him.